Hey everybody, welcome to video 15-3. We're going to be talking about how tangents are applied in circles in this section. And the very first theorem we want to talk about here is our tangent radius theorem. And that is that if a line is tangent to a circle, so here's the line tangent to the circle, remember we talked about it touching in only one point, then it is perpendicular, you see the right angle there, to any radius that is drawn out from the center to that point of tangency. So whenever you have a tangent and a radius, they're always going to meet at a 90 degree angle. So for your work here, I um, want you to look at the reflect at the bottom of this page. Reflect number three, as we're using this theorem, it says both lines in the figure are tangent to the circle and AB is a diameter. So uh, we know from that theorem that we have angle A and angle B here um, that are 90 degrees, what are we going to conclude about the tangent lines themselves? So see if you can figure that out. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, skip over to page 808. And on page 808, we have um, explained three where we're talking about circumscribed angles. So first of all, what does this word circumscribed mean? Remember that means that whatever is happening is happening on the outside of the circumference. Um, and a circumscribed angle, since we're in the section that's talking about tangents, is formed by two rays that are tangent to a circle. So it's almost like this clown hat we got over here. Here's our clown's face and the little dunce cap. Um, that's what we need to be able to look at there. Um, so example three talks us through how to prove the circumscribed angle theorem. So we are given that in this diagram here, angle AXB is a circumscribed angle. So again, there's the hat of the clown hat and dunce cap kind of thing. Um, and it's a circumscribed angle of circle C. What we're being asked to do is to prove that angle AXB and angle ACB are supplementary because that's what our theorem says. It says a circumscribed angle of a circle and its associated central angle are supplementary. So the associated central angle is if we were to draw back to the center from the points of tangency that this angle out here we could call it X and the central angle on the inside there those two degrees are going to be supplementary. So here's the proof. First off, since angle AXB is a circumscribed angle of circle C, we know that segments XA and XB are by definition circumscribed angles are made up of tangents. So they are tangent to the circle. So therefore the angles XAC and XBC, so that's these angles here, are going to be right angles because we know that tangents and radius drawn to them are, are going to be perpendicular and that's what we just learned in the previous theorem by the tangent radius theorem. So if we were to make a quadrilateral here, four-sided figure, um, and you can see the four sides being traced out by the circumscribed angle and its associated central angle, to use the language of the theorem. If we're thinking about this quadrilateral, the sum of the measures, and whoops, we forgot to put in, let's put in those right angles there, the sum of the measures of the four angles is 360 degrees. Since four angles um, and that, remember, comes from our n minus 2 times 180 polygon formula, where we're going to put in four sides for a quadrilateral, and so we get that to be 360. Since we know that the measures of XAC and XBC, both being 90, are going to equal 180 degrees, then that means, you guys, that angle AXB plus ACB has to be equal to the total 360 that we started with minus the 180 that we've already used, and so we are at 180 degrees. And so by the definition, 
of supplementary angles, we have two supplementary angles for the outside circumscribed angle right here and the inside the circle associated central angle. So not only can we prove that theorem, but also if we look down at the elaborate, a little further down the page here, the elaborate number seven is asking us to explain how to show that KM is congruent to KN. In other words, these outside pieces right here, the outside tangent pieces, are congruent. That's the question we're being asked to prove. Are they the same length? Well, they look the same length, but is there a way for us to prove that? Now, they give you a hint, which is to use congruent triangles in order to do that. So we're going to draw um, our quadrilateral here, and we're going to cut it in half to form two triangles, and we're going to see if those triangles are congruent. So if we draw in segment KC, then hopefully we will see some um, similarities here with segments, some congruences with segments, and um, be able to prove this. So we know we have a shared side at least. Segment KC is used in both triangles, the top and the bottom. And then because we have a circle, we also know that segments MC and NC are congruent. And don't forget, these are tangents, so by definition we've got a right angle in the corner. If I look at those two triangles, I hope you're going to see that the triangle KMC is congruent to triangle KNC, and that is by our HL congruence theorem, hypotenuse, KC, and leg MC and NC there, the hypotenuse leg congruence theorem. And then as soon as we know the triangles are congruent, we can look at corresponding pieces now, KM and KN, corresponding pieces are congruent once we know that the triangles are congruent. So this is just an abbreviated version of our two-column proof here. The most important two steps are how do we prove that the triangles are congruent. It's HL that's going to show that. And then because of HL, the corresponding parts, meaning the outside tangents themselves, KM and KN, are also congruent. That's an important theorem to have kind of in our toolbox here, so I'm going to highlight it in red. The elaborate here has shown us that the two tangents to a circle that are drawn from an exterior point are always going to be congruent. And keep that theorem in mind because we're going to use that as we get to the evaluate work for today. Okay, That's the end of the, our short one today. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.